everybody. Get ready to do lesson 11.3 part 1 of geometry math today. If you need note taking guides or PowerPoints or class worksheets, uh, email me here at animated PowerPoint math video at AOL.com. And today, 11.3 arcs and central angles. We have a uh, 40 points here uh, worth of classwork. And we have 36 points here of notebook taking. So if you need a note taking guide, get a hold of me for those. And teachers, today's bell work is uh, using the mid segment four uh, theorem here. Find the value of x here. And then down here, can the side lengths form a triangle? Students, five minutes. Okay, welcome back for our solutions to today's bell work. Uh, for our number one up here, here is using your mid-segment theorem, which is one half of 24 will equal x here, which is 12. That's using your mid-segment theorem, students. And then down here, uh, well, that can these side lengths form a triangle? And the answer is no, because 6 and 22 is less than 29, so it will not. And your notebook students, any two points A and B on a circle C determine a minor arc. So this would be a minor arc here, A, B, and a major arc unless the points lie on the diameter. So you, you'll have always have a minor arc and a major arc unless it's a uh, semicircle. So students copy this down. If the measure of ACB, back to our original circle here, is less than 180, so the angle here, ACB, is less than 180, then AB and all points on circle C, AB and all points that lie in the interior of angle ACB form a minor arc. So uh, this forms, if it's less than 180, it will form a minor arc. And then a major arc is what's left over here. Points A, B, and all the points on circle C that do not lie on, on uh, arc A, B form a major arc. So the points on this uh, other uh, side of the circle are part of the major arc. And then this is the minor arc, that's all. Okay, you name an arc by its endpoints. So minor arc AB would be because it begins here and ends there at AB going uh, clockwise. And then major arc here would be B, ADB. They call it ADB because we have a point here. So we go ADB for major arc there. Use one other point on a major arc as part of its name to distinguish it from the minor. Otherwise, we'd have a major arc called the same thing as a minor, so we have to we have to have another point here to distinguish it. The measures of a minor and a major arc depend on the central angle of the minor arc, so they depend on this angle here, which decides how many degrees are in the major arc. Notebook here, students. The measure the measure The measure of a minor arc is the measure of its central angle. Again, we go back to that. The measure of this minor arc is the measure of its central angle here, which is 60 degrees. So the measure of minor arc AB would be 60 degrees. And down here, it would be 300 degrees, because you know it would be this total circle minus this would be 300. Classwork uh, sheet here, part of your classwork. The measure of a major arc is the difference of 360 and the measure of the related minor. So we kind of covered that in the last slide. So the measure of the major is 360 minus the minor. In this case, it would be 60. So it would be 360 minus 60. Again, another notebook slide here. A semicircle is an arc whose central angle measures 180 degrees. 
So a semicircle, this will be a semicircle here. It's 180 degrees. This is your central angle here. The semicircle is named by three points. Its measure is 180. So you just say, name it ACB here would be your, uh, uh, your semicircle. Okay, then we get into our notebook slide here of some vocabulary, minor arc. Students, uh, in your own words, define minor arc. And then major arc, in your own words, students, define uh, a major arc. And then again, the measure of a minor arc. Students, in your own words, this is another notebook slide here, 10 points for this. A measure of a minor arc, and then the measure of a major arc. Define that in your own words here. And then in your own words, uh, this goes in your notebook. Define semicircle and then define congruent circles. We haven't covered that yet, so hang on to that. Well, you can come back to that. And I do notebook checks usually on Friday, so have it ready. Okay, classwork page 10 here. Name and find measures of arc. So name the red arc and identify the type of arc it is. Then find its measure. So uh, DF is a minor arc here. DF is a minor arc. Its measure would be 40 degrees there. And then here, uh, the red arc in this case would be LMN. So LMN would be a major arc because it's more than than 180 degrees is more than this arc is here so its measure would be 360 minus 110 would be 250 for the major arc of lmn now we go into i got to practice here name the blue minor arc name this blue minor arc and find its measure and then students this is you down here name the blue arc here which is this and find its measure so the guy to practice here would be the the name of it would be uh, arc D E. It goes like that, and the measure of of arc D E would be 130 degrees here. Then down here. Okay, moving on now. Class worksheet page 12. Postulate 16, arc addition postulate. The measure of an arc formed by two adjacent, arc, two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. So in this case here, uh, symbols of the measure of ACB, the measure of AC and B would be the measure of AC plus the measure of CB. So we just add this arc and this arc by using this kind of symbology here of the arc, the measure of the arc. So let's get into an example of that, finding measures of an arc. Let's find a measure of arc GEF, G, E, and then F. We're going to find this measure here. So the measure of GEF would be the measure of GH plus the measure of H E H E plus the measure of E F. So we have three arcs here to add together. So it'll be 40, 80, and 110. So the measure of that would be 230 for this arc right here. So that would be the measure of arc G E F. Okay, let's find the measure of these arcs now. Page 14 on your class worksheet. Let's find the measure of BC and EF. So BC would be this arc here, and then EF would be this uh, arc here. Down here, students, I'm going to let you do that on your own. We're going to do our guided practice now, BC and EF. So the measure of BC will be 58, and then EF, the measure of EF, which is this one here, will be 58 as well. And that is your lesson for today, 11.3, part one, geometry math. If you need note-taking guides or PowerPoints and or other videos for this course, email me here and I'll get that out to you. Thank you very much.